So we're back to talk through the star battle again for two reasons, uh, and it's not that we didn't do a good job with the first video, we used actually some more complex logic than the puzzle demanded. The main reason to come back right now, though, is to show you a new feature that the site has, which is an update to Penpa Edit that Svaru Guglum had put together for us based on some solver feedback. The way people have started in this puzzle is when uh, the puzzle loads you're in composite solving mode and star battle. And in that mode, a left click puts a star into a cell and a right click marks cells off of that as unusable. The new feature is now if you do a right click on a corner of a cell or on an edge of a cell, you'll put a dot into those spaces. A single right click still puts X's and a right click and holding down will keep dragging and doing this. But you can put dots in for notation. And a really neat uh, factor is if you put a star in a cell that's right off a dot, the dot will go away when you place the star. Um, use that with caution. Uh, it's not going to be uh, in spaces that would be naturally eliminated by putting in the star. So if your notation was wrong and you put a star nearby, it's not going to do its own cancellation, but using the node by putting a star near it will cancel it. So that's now uh, rolled out uh, for all the puzzles on the site that have had star battle made for them. Uh, you may have to uh, either clear your cache or refresh the JavaScripts that you're running to make sure you get that update, but uh, this should be what you experience in the site uh, pretty soon as you play Star Battle. Coming back to this puzzle, I want to have uh, surface and composite on, which looks like I do because I want to do a little bit of coloring. Uh, I'd shown in the solve video yesterday that we have uh, cases where we can color one by three rectangles in this puzzle that must have a star in them. A star is in one of these three cells. And because of that, we can't have a star that's going to see all three of those in green. It would cancel too many. And you similarly can't have, if we use a different color for vertical shapes, you can't have stars right off these blue shapes. And that was how I had started to get the first eliminations in the grid. But there is another pattern you can use, which is to see that if you take this pinwheel and break it into adjacent veins, you'll have uh, all these cells in red as the potential cells where stars are going and using our new uh, dot marking feature. Here are two places where there are stars in the sixth and seventh row. And those are the only two places in those two rows where two stars can go. And there are four uh, total stars in this region. So there's gonna be another star somewhere in the space, uh, two actually in this eighth row. They could both be over here. Um, there could be one on the left and then one somewhere on the right. These are all possibilities, but for sure there are two stars in this eighth row. And that means that every cell here in green cannot be a star because we place three stars in that row. And so uh, the cancellation that I'm showing in red is true for any of the two veins of the puzzle. So if we take this uh, one and this one, we'll just let's quickly color that in yellow. You'll see that in this situation, we'll clear these dots with right click, put in new dots with a right click. We've got two stars are going to be in this third column, and we can't have another star in any of these green cells. So I'm going to come back and cancel these and cancel these in the eighth column for similar reasons and cancel these in the third row for similar reasons. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clear uh, the coloring from the grid because we're not going to use colors right now. So let's come through and use our new tool to mark some places we have stars in the upper right region. We've got two two by two shapes, which are gonna both be used. In this bottom region, we've got a two by two shape um, here, as well as a single cell. Got another two by two, got another two by two, got a two by two, got a two by two. Those are all the stars in these regions. Up top, we need to have four stars in the first two rows. So these are all used, and that means that these cells are not in the space, um, this region on the left has to have two stars in it, and they have to split out like this. So we're going to get um, these clues moving over like so. We have a situation where we've got uh, a fair number of cells in this eighth row that are touching where stars would go. Notice that if we put a star in one of these cells, we would put a star in both of these cells and clear too much out from there. So the star in this space is uh, up above, and uh, we still have a little bit of flexibility of what goes in here, but let's see if we can find another scenario where we've got some limitations of uh, the stars, and it looks like we've got in this fourth row one, two, three cells that must be used. If I took this cell, I would actually clear two of them out, 
So this uh, cell is used, but actually if I come back to what I said at the start of the puzzle, there's a star for sure in these three cells and combined with the fact there's a star here on the left, the star is up here. Notice we're pulling our notes up as we do this. Uh, so this is where the pattern will look for this space. The star is forced to go to the top here. We've got uh, a case where if I put a star here, it's going to cancel two cells and not leave enough for the rest. So the star is below, the cell is above. You get a star, you get a star. We get a star. We still have uh, to deal with this space, and this will clear pretty quickly. We have one star here, which is a star here, which is a star. Clears all this out, clears this out. We get this star and uh, this star, and we're finished. So again, a, a easier path through the puzzle using the third row and eighth row, but also an easier path through the puzzle because of the ability to now mark some of this notation. So please refresh your browsers, take advantage of this new tool. We're working to get a lot of the older puzzles on the site, and we hope to have updates soon about when certain styles will be fully back online, and Star Battle will be one of the ones we'll try to prioritize early so that you can use uh, take advantage of the digital solving if you haven't done all our puzzles in the past. So thanks for paying attention a second time, and we'll see you again soon.